September 5th, Labor Day. It was our last day down at the lake, and I was getting ready to go out on the boat. We all were, and I felt a little nausea. And so I went into the bathroom and vomited a little blood, which then turned into about 15 to 20 vomits of blood. And uh, they were doing shift change, and the Zofran had worn off, and I started vomiting again. got in there that evening, they discovered that it was actually nothing to do with cancer, thank God, and it had all to do with an ulcer that started bleeding. And then it was to recovery uh, from there, but I was still in the ICU when they took the tube out. I looked up and said, so I can get up and walk now. Um, and uh, that was uh, that was kind of the end of that episode. And they put a pacemaker in on the 12th of September, and I was released from the hospital on the 13th of September. Now it's pedal the cause. Two weeks later, and I begged, and I begged. And I begged some more to anybody that would listen. I can ride 62 miles. Well, it was impressed upon me that because I cannot raise my elbow above my shoulder that I can't even ride a bike. So I'm spinning. Everybody else will be riding. I'll be on the spinning bike and enjoying myself because I'll have to sit up. And I still fight every day. And so now we're down to four weeks and I'll be able to ride again. And I plan on riding again, and I plan on training again, and I'll do it again. Who do I write for? Um, I write for my lovely wife, Laura, who somehow has put up with all this crap, and me in the hospital, and complaining, and ditching. I write for all my kids, my son-in-law, and my granddaughter. cancer research and they never will be touched by cancer and they'll never have to put their family through what all of my kids have gone through and my wife has gone through so really ride for them so that we never have to do this again we need to make this a world without cancer and your donation would help and we'll get it to the right doctor on the right day at the right time, so that no father, no mother, no son, no daughter, nobody has to go through any bit of cancer, because cancer sucks.